year was 2006, and Toronto became privy to what has since been called Mighty Cool, Wonderful, Adrenaline Dripping, a musty event. The Toronto After Dark Film Festival was born. The festival showcased the best sci-fi, horror, and fantasy films not yet seen by Toronto audiences. In 2007, the festival returned, bringing genre film fans more of what they desired most. And it continued, year after year, supplying genre film fans with some of the greatest Canadian and international horror, sci-fi, action, and cult movies available. But 2011 saw something different. Along with the standard films, audiences were also treated to the diaper rating. But where did this diaper rating come from? What did it mean? Many speculated, perhaps it was a rating of how shitty the movies were. Perhaps it was the opposite and just rated how good a movie was, man. We figure it's a combination of the two. The diaper rating indicated how many diapers you were going to fill with your own filth. That's right, how many times would you shit your pants due to the thrills, chills, and spills on screen? This is Toronto After Dark 2011. Good evening, Cinemaniacs of Toronto and Zombie Walkers. Let me hear you make some noise. What do you want? Can I hear you? What do you want? There's going to be lots of brains and blood and various body parts splattered all over the screen tonight in our special double bill, our Zombie Appreciation Night 2011, co-presented with the wonderful people. Give it up for the Toronto Zombie Walk. So, uh, my name is Adam Lopez, I'm the festival director, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you tonight to a very special screening. A, this is the Canadian theatrical premiere, the first time anyone in Canada is getting a chance to see Deadheads. Give up the filmmakers for the audience. We're really excited, and we're going to introduce them in a moment. I'm going to tell you about uh, a couple of other. Um, Films that you should check out straight after this screening is War of the Dead, a world premiere. Give up the filmmakers over here. Woo! So, a really awesome, action packed zombie war film, and uh, something very, very different. We don't get here uh, very often. We often get very uh, sort of independent looking films. Just the looks fantastic, and it's been years in the making. So, and this is the very first chance you're going to get to see tonight, we'll the world premiere at 9.45. We you have tickets available after this screening, you can get them on the door. Uh, $13 for regular, or 11 if you're zombified. <laughs> like our wonderful volunteers. Um, and I'm going to also plug a couple of things tomorrow. If you like horror comedies, check out someone, some guy who kills people. And that's at 1.30, and that's really, really fun, and it's got a great indie cast, and um, you can see the trailer as well. And that's at 1.30, and then tomorrow at 9.45, if you like undead-themed movies, Midnight Sun, a terrific vampire film. We have some of the filmmakers here in the audience, give it up for them. <laughs> a very cool vampire film. Not Twilight, I guarantee it. It's dark. <laughs> it's the anti-Twilight, you really want to check that out. Um, and uh, so that's just a couple of other quick thank yous. Give it up for our supporters and sponsors if you can. Anchor Bay, we love you guys. Good more in space. And our program presenters tonight, the Corner Zombie Walk. Also our wonderful volunteers, to which I have on stage. And they're in various states of decay. And thank you to Complexions Makeup Studio. Give it up for Complexions. Give it up for Complexions. I want to thank Jenny Stein, who Zombified me in 10 minutes, that's all I gave her. <laughs> she did a fabulous job, I think. 
And I also want to do a little shout out. Um, uh, some of you may know I was a, I grew up a, a big geek and freak in England, and uh, the person, one of the people that suffered a lot through my childhood was my sister. And uh, she has never been to Toronto Dark because she still lives in England. But tonight, for the first time, she's here in the audience. My sister and niece, I'm so glad to be here for 15 hours in Toronto. Being a little freak. So, hopefully, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll like this film that I invited you to tonight. Uh, that made a detour on your vacation. Okay, so that's a little plug for my sister. Um, and uh, let's talk about, um, let's give away some prizes. Who wants a couple of prizes? We have from Anchor Bank Payment free prize packs. Uh, let me tell you what's in them. We have a Walking Dead t shirt. That's the complete first season of The Walking Dead. And a bunch of cult classic zombie films. Dawn of the Dead, The Evil Dead, Day of the Dead. All the parts of the United States thing. I have three prize packs to give away. And here's how we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to just throw out a couple of tri trivia questions. And you're going to shout and make a lot of noise to indicate that you have an answer. But you're not going to shout the answer out. So you're just trying to get my attention. Okay? And my... Yeah, we'll do that. Like here, or me, or whatever. And then we'll give you a chance to answer. And my lovely zombie assistant school then hand you the prize back. Uh, we only have three to go away, so we're going to do this fast and furious because we want to get on with the films. Um, I grew up in England, and uh, one of my favorite British zombie comedies um, features uh, a very iconic piece of sporting equipment from Britain. In that way. Oh, yeah. A cricket bat. You got a prize over there. Come on, get it. Over here from the zombie assistant. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay. We have a winner. Give it up for our first winner here, Frank Batman Fay. Officially, the Emmy Awards were on, and um, Ty Burrell won an Emmy for his wonderful comedic performance in Modern Family. But he also appeared in 2004 in a certain zombie film. Over there, shout out to the dead. Go on the dead remake. Come on, give it up over there. Prize back. And one last prize quickly to get out. And I'm going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't stand you. It's okay. Our zombies have had, our volunteers have had a long day. They've been flying on the zombie walk and they've been exhausted. So okay, give it up for all our wonderful volunteers in Toronto after dark. Two years ago, we had a zombie buddy comedy here at Toronto After Dark. Can anyone name the film? Over there. The Revenant. It was an undead buddy comedy, I'll give it to you. There we go. Give it up to our prize winner over there. You guys want to come up? Or you want to come up? Throw it up. There's actually a lot of DVDs in there. I don't think we are. We're covered for that one. You want to stand up? Is it Thank you to my volunteers. Cheers. Cheers. Bye now. I'm watching you guys. Okay, we have a couple of films for you to see tonight. Um, as you may know, we play shorts in our features. We have a terrific pet themed zombie film called Play Dead. Some of you may have seen the trailer for this. Um, we don't unfortunately have the filmmakers, but they send their best regards. And we have a terrific feature film. Um, let me say a couple of things about this film. Uh, we obviously get sent a lot of zombie movies every year, and we're looking for a couple that are very special and very different. And we think we have them for you tonight. And this film, um, there are many zombie comedies, zombie comedies made every year, but there are very few that are made with this level of heart. And I think you're going to really care about the characters that you're going to see in this film. You're going to care about the heroes, the villains, you're going to care about all the characters that have something endearing and quirky and fun about them. And here to introduce this wonderful gem, this wonderful zombie buddy comedy that's also a romantic comedy. Please give it up, the director, Brad Pierce. Hello guys, how many zombies do we have there? Just stand up real quick, zombies. I just want to see how many zombies are actually in the audience. Oh my god, alright. Round of applause for the zombies are most. Alright guys, uh, thank you for coming out to the film. This is, uh, as Adam said, it's our Canadian premiere, which is a really big deal for myself, my brother who co-directed, who couldn't be here tonight. These guys got a hold of us a while back about showing the film here. 
And honestly, I, I gotta say, for Adam and Christian, you were some of the first guys to believe in us, and we've had a really good festival run, but these were one of the first guys to acknowledge us and bring us in, so thank you. <laughs> Uh, like Adam said, it, it was a movie made with a lot of heart. I slept on my mom's floor, our entire cast lived in my mom's house. We just bled, got arrested, lost girlfriends, took out school loans, whatever we could do to finish the movie. But you know, what it is, it's, it's all love, it's all us. We put it up there, we love zombie movies, and we just wanted to give you guys a fun ride, and it's a dream for us to be here at Toronto. Thank you for letting me realize probably one of my biggest dreams, which I got to throw out a severed head today, the zombie walk to thousands of zombies. It's never gonna happen yet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the flick and uh, Toronto After Dark forever. <laughs> and we'll be back along with some of the cast and crew for a Q&A, so stick around for that after the film. And we'll also be having, after our second zombie film, War of the Dead, a second in our series of nightly pub socials at Tequila Bookworm. So we'll be going there around midnight, and you can hang out with both sets of zombie filmmakers till the small hours. That'll be a lot of fun. That'll be at Tequila Bookworm, 512 Queen Street West, midnight till late. So join other fans there. Don't forget to vote. This film is eligible for the Toronto After Dark Audience Choice Award, and previous Audience Choice winners have gone on to find distribution, uh, lots of bars, lots of love in the circuit, so it really makes a big difference to vote. Give them a five if you love it a lot, one if not so much, and uh, those will make a difference. Finally, if you can turn off your cell phones, pages, and you might go bleep. Uh, we really hate, hate seeing glowing screens at this festival. If you see someone with a glowing screen, you know what that means. They're checking their iPhone, they're checking their Blackberry. Please bite their necks out of their zombie. Uh, tell them to shut it off. Get angry out of them. Uh, be vocal. We do not want any glowing screens at Tron Dark. And if you agree with me, make some noise right now. Back for Q&A. Enjoy, play dead, followed by Deadheads. Cheers. Three years. Hey, bro. It's been a long time. I've been dead for three years. I missed the Transformers movie. Oh, yeah. I've been running into all these people who are um, eating other people. Yeah, yeah, I've been quick, quick, African there's abortions. zombies everywhere. Yeah. Dude, you're like Mr. Potato Head. What brings you guys out for these parts? The adventure of life, my friend. The adventure that is life. All right! The fun is some action! We got the plan, huh? You still want to do that? I mean, I was just kind of talking out of my ass last night about the whole Find yeah, Your yeah, True yeah, Love I thing. I still want to do that, but how are we supposed really? to stick to the plan with huh. Captain Creepy following us everywhere? Mm -hmm. You can't be mad at him. I mean, look at that face. Oh, shit. Are you sick or something? Unprotected sex. Don't gamble, kid. Keep the change. with you that would really help us turn over the screening for the next screening that's coming up straight after, which is the War of the Dead, which you can also get the tickets for if you haven't already. Um, please, without further ado, give a big round of applause to the director. Right here, come on up. And uh, what do you make of our Toronto audience? You've been uh, all around the world with this film. Yeah, this is honestly one of the best responses we've ever had. We made it for an audience like this. It's always tricky, like, you know, everywhere else, you know, they're like zombie movies, zombie love story. I don't know if you're down for that, but you guys, you're the type of crowd. That's who we made it for, so. <laughs> Cheers. So, when we saw this film um, in pre screening, we just thought this was exactly the kind of film to play the zombie appreciation night, so we're really glad we could make it happen. Um, and why don't you bring up some of the 
Um, um, people that Natalie know, Victoria, who played the in love interest Ellie in the film, is here. You want to call up Natalie? Marcus Taylor, who played Cheese. Give it up for Cheese! Yeah. 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 That's the most original zombie name I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> he saw me, he was like six feet tall, and we were just like, that's the guy. And we like, His audition was the best. He was like, all right, man, here's your lines. And he's like, okay. <sighs> Just do it a couple more times. Me, scary. Now smile and do it. He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> do you want to talk a bit about what it was like to play this Hulk of a zombie in the film, Marcus? Uh, it was a unique experience. Um, as you can see, I was wearing contacts the entire time, so uh, I didn't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> so the very first time I saw this film, I was like, so that's what you bastards are doing. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. Yeah. And Natalie, can you tell us what it was like to play the love interest of these uh, undead characters? <laughs> well, um, it was quite fun to kiss a zombie. <laughs> Some of his makeup kept wearing off on my lips, and so every second they'd be like, Oh no, wait, 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 makeup, makeup! <laughs> it was gross, because Mike's lip kept on falling off, so sometimes she'd back away from Mike and it would be on her lip. <laughs> it's like, that's not gonna work in the edit, guys. <laughs> It looks like you guys had a lot of fun making this film, but you want to tell us each one of your favorite horror stories, because I'm sure there was a lot of crazy stuff happening. Oh my god, it was horrible. But, um, <laughs> uh, my favorite horror story was waking up one day, we, we had already shot for five weeks, so we knew we were running out of money, and we had to mortgage a house so we could shoot another four weeks. But uh, I woke up, and I will not name names, but one of my actors was arrested, and he was supposed to shoot that day. And she? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. it was not cheese. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I honestly, it's so hard to say. We just kind of, I, I think every day was horrible because I was sleeping on a floor. So, <laughs> I was like, I don't give my beds to the actors, so you guys are sleeping on beds. And I was sleeping on a floor next to my brother for warmth. So. <laughs> Natalie, what's your favorite horror story from making this film? I'm going to tell a story about my tingle. <laughs> um, but the red suits that we, um, that they, those guys were wearing in the film, a lot of people don't realize that they didn't breathe at all. So basically we were shooting in this warm weather and those poor guys, Greg and Ben, who played Gilman and McDingle, were just sweating. And on top of like enormous sweat, it created this really, really awful smell. <laughs> So it was really bad, and it was funny because um, we're a pretty rowdy group, so we got out drinking the night before, I know, so bad. And then uh, Ben was famous for saying, Man, I'm sweating whiskey and hate today. <laughs> He's like, don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, there's so many. <laughs> but so few. Um, I guess my favorite one was the, the lake scene with Cliff dies. Um, it was really fucking cold that day. And of course us, me, Mike, and, and Ross, and Cliff for that fact, who was played by Harry, um, like had to sit there and stay in the cold for the entire time. And I couldn't see, and all I remember is, is me and Ross, while Mike and, and Cliff were doing their scene, we were literally holding each other and we're like, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's so cold. <laughs> You guys are going to be movie stars. Suck it up. <laughs> Best part about that one, too, is we, we showed up at 6 in the morning to shoot that, and it was on this property that we had no permission to be there. So there's a big fence, and we had to get over it. You guys were like play, climbing over it, the old guy's climbing over Cliff, and I was, he's like, are we okay to be here? I'm like, yeah, yeah, just get over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start opening this. Let's start opening the floor. We have some questions from uh, fans here, for our visitors here. Do they claim for me? How did you come up with the idea? Um, my brother and I just, we always like the mesh of genres, and I know Hollywood doesn't like the mesh of genres, but that always interests us. And Drew was like, I just want to make a movie where it's two bloody zombies. And I was like, that's what, I, I was like so psyched about that idea. And I was like, and it's going to be a love story in the round road trip. And he's like, road trips are expensive. I'm like, we're doing it. You know, <laughs> so, you know, it was kind of, it was a lot of different ideas. And we just, we like buddy movies, and we just said, we haven't really seen a buddy zombie movie that we were nuts about, so we wanted to take a shot at it. 
We got some more from the floor. Any hands? Uh, over there. Dead heads two. Dead heads two. The who wants to see the sequel? Dead heads. About it, and I have this idea. Drew's not nuts about it, but I want to make a Deadheads Christmas movie. Whoa. I, want, I want all those guys in Santa hats, like on a poster, like. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the working idea so far. So. We're gonna bring cheese back. Yeah. yeah. We want cheese. We want to see cheese back. You really like scoop your brains back in there and <laughs> tape it up. We're like, it's good to go for the sequel. Have <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some more from the floor? Any hands? Anybody want to over there? I, I just want to know if, uh, if anyone sustained some major injuries during the uh, filming of the. Uh, major injury question. There, I'll go through a couple. Thomas being, well, Marcus being blind in all his fight stuff, not seeing anything. So the best part of that fight at the end, right before he dies is our actor Thomas was just kind of like, I'm gonna go out and be all actory and be method. So he just punched that shit out of Marcus's chest. It's so like the next day, Marcus just was like black and blue. <laughs> just like, yeah. yeah. But um, there was, you know, the, the drag stunt that we did. Yeah. We had hired a stuntman to do it, and he crapped out on us because there was a Jack Black movie down the street that was paying him more money. So, oh. so I went and did it. So I, I was like, on set, we're like, oh shit, how are we gonna do this? And I saw our production designer, Steve, who kind of gets Shit, I'm always shit, it's horrible. But I was like, hey man, you want to be dragged behind a truck? <laughs> and he's kind of a tough guy, and it was, it was already way too tough for him. He was like, yeah, fuck, why not, man, let's do it, you know? So we, we made like a suit out of cardboard, wrapped it around tapes, and he looked like Iron Man. It was ridiculous. And they just put the costume over and paint him up, and then we dragged him like 35 miles an hour on gravel, so. He said, a couple times, like, we pick the rocks out of it, he's like, I got one more take left, and then there's blood. <laughs> So oh, injuries. Yeah, that car yes. was gone by the time it was done. The car yeah. was completely gone. Yeah, the worst part is the makeup guys put blood packets on them for the last take. So we're like dragging them, and all of a sudden Steve stands up and there's blood pouring off. Oh. My brother just like runs out. He's like, oh shit. And I think one of the producers like, insurance, insurance. You know? <laughs> that was funny. We've got time for one more from the floor. Anybody want to go for it? Lots of pop culture jokes in the movie, but like, who's actually going to put all those Transformers jokes in there? Yeah, some fantastic pop culture references. The Transformers is me. My brother gets mad at me all the time about it. It's like, like, I keep on adding more Transformers stuff, and he's like, dude, there's like three Transformers things in there already. I'm like, but it's, it's Transformers, you know? <laughs> Did anyone get Bobby, Growie, Mini Bomb? Does it? Woo! Favorite person in the eyes, I got it, I got it too. Okay. <laughs> And I guess I just want to ask one question. What's next for you guys in terms of this film getting out there and distribution? Well, when are we going to see it? We're hoping to get U.S. distribution. We haven't, you know, they, they always go, hey, you don't have anybody famous in it, so we don't know if people like this movie. Nice. But uh, would you like to see this film as it is? UK and France and Germany, so they, they're all like thumbs up, but here they're like, who are you guys get off my porch? You know, and you, you don't have a Canadian distributor yet. We don't have a Canadian distributor. Distributors in the audience, get Start writing those up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or if you know a distributor, I know we have a lot of people in the audience who are friends of the distribution community. Get the word out, Deadheads is available. Yes, please tell everybody, we, we had a blast making it, we have horrible horror stories, but it's, it's kind of like, the, we were a family, we stuck it out, we all lived at my mom's house, we just, Every day she handed us a breakfast sandwich, we're like, what are you doing today? It's like, oh, we're going to chop a guy's head off in the woods and make sure you clean those suits because they smell like ass. So, <laughs> that was every day. So, <laughs> a real labor of love. Terrific. So, give it up for the filmmakers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.